What's up everybody? This is JT back with another episode and today we have Cat Williams in the whole entertainment business. We have a judge from Las Vegas and damn near losing her goddamn life. And then we got Google getting sued for in incognito mode. Now let's get it. You know, this is JT over here coming live from Resorts World. This beautiful scenery behind me. And um, today is January 6th. And you know, we have Cat Williams just entering the new year, br bringing, resurrecting the Hollywood um, homophobia from the early uh, 2010s. <laughs> You know when uh, Dave Chappelle came out and was like, Hey, I'm not going to be like the rest of these guys. I'm not going to put on a goddamn dress. And you went, hold up. That's, it made you think. It was like, yo, who put on dresses? And what's that have to do with anything? And some people were like, oh yeah, that's normal. Didn't you try on dresses growing up? No. We, I wasn't allowed. Like, I remember one of my neighbors, um, one of my neighbors came over with his, uh, toenails painted, and immediately my uncles and my dad were like, I hope you don't fucking, I hope you don't like that shit, because that'll never fucking happen over here. So we have a strict, uh, number one rule of no, no male, um, no male nails painted. Male nails. See, it's like, you can't even have that, dude. Nails is one letter away from being male. It's a goddamn trap. It's a goddamn trap. And then, um... So we have... Painted nails becoming a phenomenon here. Half, half the dudes that I used to be cool with painted nails. Black guys are painting their nails. Which, which brings you to my next theory that black guys are the starting to become uncool The Asians are taking the fucking reins for coolness now When black guys started going Tight pants See white boys then we went tight pants, but we didn't go full fag We we stayed in the middle We didn't go we didn't paint our nails This is what we did we went long hair. We might have braided a few tattoos on face. Black guys went tattoos on face. You, you can't see. Big vibes. Big, they got they gained weight. They didn't join the they didn't join the movement of health, and they started painting their nails, watching anime. Let me tell you right away too. Anime is not as cool as you think, dude. And the anime chicks. The anime chicks are washed. Those are ex-gothic, confused shorties that been getting that, you know, that GEDD from the beginning. And I'll tell you right now, no one hits that like a college dropout because you got the people that are GEDs that are hitting, and they don't, they don't put enough work in. Then you got the people who graduated university and those people put too much work in. They try they're go they're tryhards. Then you got the college dropouts hitting that. It's a little bit of hit it right there, don't care. Trying shit out. Might not, might work. Not consistent, but boy, make it memorable. And that defies my the sex game of you know, college dropouts, GEDs. But yeah, that's, um, yeah, black guys are uncool. That's where we started with that. But yeah, um, Cat Williams airing out the Hollywood. Basically, if you put a, if you put a dress on in Hollywood, you, you, you basically hooked up with the director or someone, um, investing in the, in the money, in the movie. Which is craziness. Because he said, like, you go in there and they're like, yo, we love it. We do, we love it. But, like, here's the price. Or, um, would you do this? And here's the price. And they catch you, like, um, like right now. Like, picture me. I'm broke as fuck, dog. You know, living paycheck to paycheck. 
giving the people what they want, baby. Dropping hot bars. But just being an honest fucking street dealer, bro, you know? And they offer me, they're like, hey, JT, like, we'll give you a skit show of, like, doing what you can. But you gotta suck this man's D from the B. And here's a million dollars. You can change your whole family's life. I'm gonna be like, yo, no. First of all, my uncles right now are looking at me from above because they fucking OD'd at a couple parties, a couple of them. And fuck no, dude. And I'm going to tell the story to the boys. But I guess a lot of homies, they just fucking take it. I don't know, man. But Cat Williams, you know. And no one says he's lying. All the people replying to him are like, yo, they just say something else. And it's like, yo, my boy hit the G spot on that one, boy. And then we have a Las Vegas judge. So if you've ever been in the courtroom, you always think, yo, that judge is hella close for talking that crazy to me. Like one time I was catching, one time I pissed hot on the UA. I was like 20 years old. I was caught in the system. You know when you're just a young lad caught in the system, man. And I pissed hot in the UA. My my lawyer didn't even show up to the fucking arrangement. And the, do- the the judge is like, "Fucking, we're gonna put you in jail for the rest of your fucking probation," which was like a month. And I was like a nonviolent criminal, ready to throw hands. I had long hair at the time too. Boy, I was a stun a gunner. I would have got tore up in jail. I would have had a fight for my fucking asshole's life. And I would have, dude. I've always said, if you clench your cheeks tight enough, no one could get in. So I've been practicing cheek clenches since I was a young lad. Preparing for that day. But that Las Vegas judge, dude, she or fucking, this dude that already fucked up his, like, someone in his life, was talking that good shit, and the judge was like... Fuck the probation. We're sending you in. And he did the fucking airman jump over the fucking podium. And dunked on that bitch with a fucking head punch. He knocked on her forehead fucking Jordan style. Pop. And it's funny because you see the homies in there grabbing the dude. And they got office hands. You ever seen a dude that works in an office for more than a decade? Their hands are shrink a size. Because I worked manual labor, manual labor for about fucking... 15 years of my life outside every day and then I worked now I'm a, I'm a retail boy selling weed inside but my hands baby I'm trying to keep that grip because the dude that was protecting her he like it's basically politician hand you fucking um, you're, it's like Donald Trump all the dudes their hands get feminized they start getting pedicures and manicures and shit and their hand just shrinks a fucking glove size Starts at the hand, my boy. Don't fucking let him. Don't show. But uh, that's what happened. The judge got fucking Eric Jordan dunked, front knuckled on the forehead. Don't lose that grip strength, kid. And yeah, um, but the, those people were punching that guy, and they couldn't stop him because that guy was in the streets, bro. When you catch your fucking hoodlum from the streets, bro, and you're working in an office, you're fucked. You better do your farmer's walks and fucking stay shadow boxing so you're prepared. And then we have, you know, incognito mode. And everyone's been there, bro. You's about to look up that thing. You're like, yo, would I get caught if I fucking, you know, do what you got to do out here to survive? Like a lot of homies are doing that insurance fraud what like they like so they order something off amazon and they say it didn't get there or they do it from like a grocery store and they say it didn't get there too and um this shit's been happening since back in the days so i went to five different high schools and now one of them i was playing football i would play high school football a bunch of them but this one dude was like so my mom orders me one pair of cleats says we didn't get them and then they order they sent another one so i have a game pair and a practice pair and, you know, I'm a God-fearing man. My family's fucking believes in the Vatican. will send the assassins out if you talk shisty enough. So, 
we fucking never did that, but other people out here fucking doing some insurance fraud or fucking um just fraud in general. Which is insane, dude. Because I never had a practice pair in a game pair. My game pair was the fucking practice pair too, baby. But you know, that's JT. So don't fucking trust incognito mode is what I'm saying. Because everyone knew that they were just selling that information for double. Because you know how they say date data is the new fucking gold? Well, that fucking incognito was making your gold into fucking... I don't even know. Human organs? Is that the only thing more expensive than gold nowadays? But yeah, that was all the fucking shice. And then somebody, I guess someone's suing them for selling all their shit. And I'm like, can I be part of that? Because I looked up a few fucking U-Porns a few times on Incognito and I know that shit was fucking sold for someone's benefit, dude. But that's JT. You know, we're coming live from Resorts World. You see the beautiful scenery and the beautiful ambiance. Shout out to the new subscribers. We here, baby. Join the ride. One time for the one time. We done, son.